All right, well, at this point I've shown you guys several 7 DRLs that I'm not going to be spotlighting for the really, like, you know, Steam group I'm basically part of, but let's start getting to some of those games I will be spotlighting, such as Rogue Station here. Blah, run anyway. And let's just see here, 1920 by 1080. The inputs and stuff, let's play. Alright, it's Rogue Station. Music's by Mirko Ronkel Les and uh, codes by Paul Trafal and Kenneth Gangsto. You are awoken, a clone on a space station. Wreckage drifting in space, falling apart. Systems fail, and the hull breaches. Energy is sparse, and oxygen is leaking. The broken rescue beacon is your only hope, but who knows how long this old wreckage can stay together, or which scavengers it might attract. So, use numb keys to walk. Alternative is basically arrow keys plus shift. Numb key um, 5 to rest, or channel the X. Q to sweep the station for oxygen levels. W to transfer your character to a location. E to shoot if you have a blaster rifle. R to look at location. Let's show off Rogue Station. Alright, so. I squint. What a terrible light. Where am I? Who am I? Alright, so. The idea of this game is that we're basically just like, you know, a uh, clone who's basically woken up in this, like, you know, um, spaceship, adrift in space and falling apart. So let's sweep for option here. I sweep the station for option levels. My surroundings show an average of 6% oxygen. So basically, uh, you know, we got some, like, you know, issues basically at the start with. We're basically on, in a station of like low oxygen levels, and that's bad because we're gonna like you know um, suffocate if we're not careful. So here's a cloning machine, by the way. If look over here, there's a door. All right, I don't think that mouse is used at all, basically here. So let's just get to it. So we'll walk maybe this way. I feel lightheaded. Is there a shortage of auction in its place? I should check my station control unit's auction sweep. And that's basically something I already did, but you get the idea. Now, note by the way, this is like, you know, really building off of like the um, idea that like, you know, fictional rule you basically had before. Basically, you have like, you know, um, explanations to like where you basically are. So we're in a corridor right now, leaving the clone bay. And now we're in the emergency uh, center here. So, here's a rescue beacon. This device is used to send out short sound waves into space with set intervals. You can only hope that someone friendly receives it and comes to your rescue. Condition, minor defects. This equipment will require one repair kit to fix. Uh, it has a power requirement of 20-50 um, units of power and is off. So, basically to like, you know, win, we have to repair this. And have like power basically power it, so... That's my objective. Alright, I made myself um, all my way up to the armor here. Right there is a combat suit machine that's basically used to make like you know combat armor for yourself. It's like useful if you get into combat. Uh, there's a wall up there. There's weapon cameras here. Tables. Another one up there. Now I'll note that I don't really find combat suits that effective in this game, so we'll basically skip it. But um, basically, if I want to, uh, I can repair this. It basically requires 250 power, basically to turn it on. The combat suit gives you wear some extra protection when in combat, but you use 200 units of power each turn, so that's what that basically does. I search the top of the table, but there's nothing useful to be found. I search on um, the weapon count, but there's something useful. Ooh! I picked up a repair kit, so there's a repair kit on this table here. Usually don't find anything on tables, so that's really, you know, good. Uh, there's something useful there. Nothing useful here. My station control unit is flashing red. Invaders registered in the control room. 
Now, this is something that, like, you know, I think this game could probably have done um, without, like, the idea of invaders, but basically, like, you know, uh, there's, like, these alien scavengers that will basically pop in, I guess, every so in intervals to basically, like, invade your ship. And I'll kill you if you get the chance. So... You want to be very careful of that. Okay, we got ourselves two repair kits. Alright, so I'll note that over here you can basically see them. So, I'm not sure if it's really see scroll over, but um, over in this direction you'll basically see it. There's an alien basically over here. So, invader. There's a computer desk over there, so oh, we'll try basically like stay away from there until we get like a blaster gun to basically shoot him with. And there's a blaster gun right there. So, now I can basically shoot things if we need to. And yeah, I was like, you know, I'm not by the way, some of these require like, you know, two repair kits to fix, fix or even like three repair kits to fix, so. You have to be like, you know, choose who fight you basically choose repair or not, so there's that. Now, here's something that's very useful the space suit machine. So, I can put this basically on and get myself a spaceship, but basically, like, you know, solves my oxygen problems. So, basically, like, you know, you can put this on. Uh, it can put on a space chute, and basically, like, you know, um, it'll basically give me, like, some oxygen, basically, to work with, so, let's turn it on, and I'll basically have, like, a space chute, basically, like, on. So, there we go, now we're in a space chute here. Now that, like, the invaders are in a docking area, it's kind of annoying, they're right over there, apparently. And yeah, I looked that it got very simple AI to, um, AI to basically just, like, path towards you if they can. Now, I have to basically find a way to basically get, like, you know, some energy here, so... Here's a power generator. If I basically repair this, I'll get some power, which is, like, useful for, like, you know, powering up the station, so... Let's repair this. And we'll turn it on, now we'll have, like, you know, some power basically to work with. Here's an air generator, so... Generates O2 to the station. Uh, this equipment will require free repair kits, so best place to, you know, that there. Uh, I can turn this on, we'll get some, like, auction basically going on. That one's probably broken, so whatever. So here's another emergency center, by the way, so... You'll basically find multiple of this stuff like this over here, so... Basically, like, we found ourselves in our rescue beacon, so that's cool. So yeah, shoot with your blaster rifle, be careful though, the space station's walls are for fragile. So, we can't go through that door because that guy's right there. And he'll basically like, eat my brains if I basically go that way. So, at this point I have to start to do a teleport, so... We'll go in here, I guess. Now, this is something I've sort of watched out for in this game, because basically you have to use, like, you know, energy to basically, like, transport yourself around sometimes. Like so. And I love that this game does have, like, issues of, like, you know, not necessarily spawning a puzzle that will, like, you know, not kill you. So, let's try shooting right here. Yeah, so note that basically, like, you know, the combat is perhaps not the best thing about this game, but, you know, whatever. We'll try again. But anyways, I really like this idea for this, like, game because, um, it's basically more like, you know, you know less traditional and more like, you know, survival. And this, is, this goes to really show, by the way, that, um, you can basically have, like, this type of, like, you know, um, type of game where it's, like, less, like, you know, combat-oriented and more, like, you know, survival-oriented. Like, I think, for example, like, you know, um, out there, for example, as being like a game that, like, you know, doesn't really have any comment to it, but it basically is like more of a survival. Alright, so here's an air generator. Um, it basically generates O2. We need like a repair kit to basically turn it on. There's a power generator right there. 
Alright, now I basically have to teleport or go to the purple door down there, so let's just try teleporting here. And by note that I'm basically out of breath, so we're basically having like issues of like, you know, auction over here. So here's an air drainer, you can turn this on, basically get some like, you know, um, auction if we need to. I think it requires power to teleport though, so... Whether it's useful or not, I'm not really sure. So there's a space ship machine. No by the way, if I want to, I could turn this on, but you know, we don't have the power basically to turn it on, so... Basically it was a bad idea to basically turn on the, like, O2 basically for that reason. Oh, there's the aliens over there. I'm able to breathe again. Why are you not coming in my direction, I wonder? Must be something in there to block them, so whatever. Now, that guy's basically like, you know, off limit limits to me, so let's just go this way. Yeah, I'm not that I, like, I can't tra transport myself anywhere because I don't have the power for it, so... This is an issue with this game, like, it doesn't necessarily give you, like, you know... Oh, I punched a sucker in, um, as far as I could and it drops like a sucker like uh, you. So, basically, like, there's something interesting. Basically, like, you know, I'm gonna these guys. But yeah, note that I can't breathe at this point because, like, you know, we have, like, no, um... There's, like, no, like, you know, um, air around me here. Well, now that I know I can punch these guys, usually, you know, that never works for me, but whatever. Let's get this. I'll reach in the kitchen, apparently. I feel a panic rising me. I need to breathe. I just for heat for air. My lungs are empty. And there we go, we die of, like, you know, suffocation. So, I know this is like an interesting idea, that's basically the reason I'm basically like, you know, suggesting it's like something to like, you know, check out. Ooh, repair kit. Ooh, repair kit! And yeah, these are RAM too, basically, you'll sometimes find these a lot, or else like, you know, you won't find them at all. Here's an air drainer, but you know, whatever. There's a power drainer, we'll want to repair this. There's some power. They're over there, apparently. Actually, maybe this will work this time. So, I power up the air drainers. Now, if I can only find some air vents to get air flowing into the rooms. Here's an air vent. Okay, so this is an air vent. So, this requires, like, you know, um, a, uh, you know, repair as well as our stuff. Help reach an emergency center. Not great. Uh, I can turn this on, by the way, so... That's giving me some air in here, by the way. Now, no problem if I, like, you know, do a sweep here. Anywhere near a help reach is basically now off-limits because, like, you know... The air is being sucked out of, like, the station by it, so... That's a thing to watch out for. Is there a hull breach in the emergency center? So that's too badly broken. That's working, so we can turn this on. So now I basically have some auction here to work with. Uh, I could turn this on to basically get, like, you know... I feel with the controls, but something's not right with the machine. Maybe if I try again. I 
Oh, he does a combat suit, by the way. Uh. Yeah, it worked. Oops. Uh, we're basically, like, you know, suffocating here. That's horribly broken, apparently. Good to know. That's beyond repair, apparently, this one. Might make sense to repair this, by the way. So, now I don't have to worry about basically breathing. So I could turn this basically on for more, like, you know... Power. Some more power, basically. There's an air vent. Kind of damage the gas. There we go, repair kit. So, that base is currently broken, so whatever. Uh, that's horribly broken, we're not gonna worry about it. Whoa! Now these guys basically have to sort of watch out for, because... The thing is, like, it's odd how basically, like, you know, stuff works in here, so... Okay, we killed that one. There's nothing useful in those guys, so whatever. Uh, we can turn it on. Okay, so... Repair, turn it on, get some more power. Well, I have, like, um... I have a spacesuit now, so I can walk up here if I want to, to, like, you know, explore. So let's do that. And by the way, I looked at, like, these are, like, you know, um, these red things are, like, you know, walls that, like, you know, I guess they're, like, you know, walling us off in, like, the space. Is there an idea? Okay, we have some good auction here. Because, like, you know, the air vents. Let's kill off you. Well, that's not, you know, not too bad. We kill off these guys easily enough. Alright, well I guess we have to go back this way to like, you know... Okay, why am I like running out of option here? I should have enough option of like, you know, this like right here, right? So... Okay, so yeah, you can repair these if you want to, by the way, so let's repair this. And apparently we still died, so... There's basically some things that definitely could be improved here, I think, but whatever. We'll start our game here, because, like, you know... I'll give her a good showing of this, like, game here. Repair kit's awesome.
So we got some repercuss out of that. Way. That's a lot of repair kits that, like, you know, I can use with you too. Alright, right out of auction here. I don't think libraries tend to have stuff, so let's just run away from here. The so Hallbridge is over there. So we got a transport here, so we'll do that. Okay, this is horribly broken, but I need power, so let's turn it on. Ah, uh, we'll leave that alone, just go this way. There we go. Don't have to wonder, did I basically not turn it on or something? And well, this guy's not here, so that's kind of annoying. Excellent. Uh, turn this on. I know that big charge being is it basically is like you know locking out for most parts, so make sure this display makes it powered up, of course. So I'm not like you know suffocating this time around, so there's definitely some things that can be improved here, I think. Oh boy, it's a lot of these guys to fight. Um, let's kill off him. And I get the feeling these guys, like, you know, can't get by there, so... It's not up by I really don't like the fact that you need to have energy in order to do stuff like this. Like, in order to get by this hull bridge, I basically have to, like, you know, repair it. Or have to teleport past these guys like this, so... Lots and lots of invaders everywhere. Uh, this is wor um, working apparently. So this requires power basically to be turned on, so... Basically need to find like more power generation, I guess. A current, a current air pleasantly hits my face, so you got air in here. That one's enough. There's an air vent, badly broken, so whatever. My gosh, there's enemies everywhere! Oh, I'm out of breath, apparently. That's a repair kit. Let's go this way. It really goes to show, by the way, like, you know, there's issues with this game in, like, you know, terms of, like, you know, match your auction levels, I guess. Like, I'm definitely in front of the air vent here, but, um...
the armory now, apparently. You know, I want like the space is like useful past a certain point, so that could be a thing as well. You know, nice, the music's basically nice for this game, I'll say at least. And I, I like, you know... Breach is like, you know, an issue. So there was a power generator down there, but whatever. Alright, maybe we'll avoid like the spacesuit because it seems like the um, spacesuit isn't, isn't that helpful. That's beyond repair. But anyways, this isn't like a neat idea, and that's the main reason I basically want to like, you know, um... Want to promote it, basically. It's a neat idea that could like, you know... Be like a process for like an interesting game. And it was probably does give you like a nice, a nice little bit of like you know leeway before like it starts doing stuff this game. So it has some good things going for it. Be, you know beyond like you know how difficult it basically is. I'm done in there, so that's fine. It can be a cor in there a little bit. There's a the rescue beacon, so it is working, but I need power. I'm gonna avoid this this time. There's another rescue beacon. It's, it's broken, though. Oh, hull breach in a cloning facility. Not useful. Horribly broken. And yeah, as I said, you don't usually find stuff in these, like, you know, these libraries, unfortunately. I've hardly found any repair kits, which is kind of an issue. There we go, we got power finally. They want to be quick here. Because there we go. So there's a countdown before we like get rescued. So note that it's basically powering up the rescue like you know countdown. So that doesn't survive like long for it to basically like power up. Uh, this guy's popped up in the ar armory, I guess. Our kit, useful. I can't breathe. Alright, we can't really deal with him, so let's just leave him alone.
Holbridge Emergency Center. This is definitely like a good game, but like it had like a little bit more like leeway, I think, for some things, so. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but okay. By the way, it basically has more power going for it, so that's useful. And let's just repair this. I can't repair this, okay, so whatever. Why not? There are more guys in the docking area. What I really need to do now is to basically just find a, a place to hold out for the most part, so... We'll find a place that doesn't have a hull breach in it, and it's like, you know, trying to survive. Note that it says I've already searched this table here, so that's a thing. Actually, it is like a strategy just to sort of like hang out in this room here. Just like use up the air, air in here before like leaving. be going pretty fast, unfortunately. Oh, we died. Well, I think you get the idea, like, to just what your face is supposed to do here. Um, but yeah, a few more elements to this game, like this gameplay type, it would have actually been better. Now, I think this is considered a successful game, but really it is, like, more of, like, a failure than, like, anything else that's, like, 70 year old because, um, it isn't really balanced enough, basically, to be, like, you know, considered, like, you know, winnable. But, you know, whatever. It's basically, like, you know, interesting idea that I thought it was worth promoting. Alright, so that was basically Rogue Station right there. Um, I believe Rogue Station was like, you know, in the like, you know, 2010s, 2000, like, you know, 20 like range of like 70 year old, so Rogue Station. So it was a 2014 entry right here, and yeah, they like wrote success for it, but um, honestly, it's not really balanced, and like, you know, it needs more balance to be like, you know, really like, you know, worth like, you know, playing, but whatever. And yeah, it actually did some issues here, but you know. The procedural generation may block a path with placement of things. Using transfer beam uh, to pass them now. It's basically a deal like the transfer is basically to, you know, help you like get um, around like the, you know, procedural generations like that, but you know, whatever. But anyways, that's basically Rogue Station. That's like the first like game that I like thought like it was worth, um, worth um, spotlighting. Hope you guys basically enjoyed like the gameplay for it and take care.